Welcome everyone to the Coaster Spot. It's a video about Horror Nights, but we're gonna check out the preview center really quickly. I'm Alex. I'm Ariel. And I wanna see your reaction. We actually just released the video uh, today that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. I got my first reaction, so we'll make this quick because it was like 20 minutes long with just inside of here, but. That one. But I also really like the fanny pack for $33. $35. Is that a lot for a fanny pack? And if there's not many pockets, yeah, that is a lot. Oh, that's a bad pocket. Ooh. Oh, well, let me see the pulls it. Oh, that's so cool. Look at, no, no, look at the back one. It's got like a. Oh, yeah, like yeah, the yeah, composite yeah, yeah. thing. Does it have like dividers inside? Okay, okay. Oh, it's got everything. Oh, that's actually really nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. I think it's worth $35. Yeah. I'll show that off. Well, then and... you can't wear it. It's a big fan tags on coasters. Right, well, I'm getting it. All right. That little distraction out of the way. I don't think that's possible. So cool. I mean, it's just like a mini model. I mean, it's a mini model. It's like it's like a like Waterside America type thing. Yeah. But what is that? But with ridiculous amounts of detail. Which one makes? Which one stuff like that? I need that detail. Oh, you use the AR stuff and the thing. Is that the menu? I don't know if you get the menus, but you get all the informations. Very quiet. So it was, how did you like that Epic Universe preview center? It's cool. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Yeah. I'm more excited. Like, I'm the same. Yeah. I, I just want to get, the, like, I want to, when I see a video. Yeah. When people talk to you about it, then I'll be willing. I want to try not to, hopefully. I mean, as Not long as what? as long as we can have a pass that we can go yeah. early on and with it, or previews or whatever, yeah. like, we're good. Yeah. Anyways, they let us in around 6 p.m. If you're wondering when. They advertise it at 6.30, but usually you're in by 6. Sometimes early. Sometimes earlier, so. Major sweets, candy factories can be your first one. Yep. Of course, I've done them all. Go check out my full tour. And I had some opinions there. I kept it pretty op opinionless, though, for the most part. But um, I really enjoyed this one. And I got to do, like, basically a pretty solo walkthrough with it. So that was fun, my second time. Uh, it wasn't completely void of people, but it was pretty void of people. It was my second time. That was, that's always fun. You get all the scares. First food item. I think we're at Vlog Houses on another night. Kind of just chilling. Got the shrimp corn chowder. So what's the the farmhouse chowder thing? Yeah, it looks good. Shrimp and... Are you excited? Why is it from plant place? Because they make corn. They live on a farm. I don't know. They go through the cornfield. Remember the cornfield with the red lights? And here's my favorite scare zone of the year, by the way. The torture fair. I love it. It's really good. Hey, yo. I've been driving you crazy with this song for the last, like, three, three weeks. Night three, and uh, your little boo got more expensive. I swear he was twenty dollars on um, Friday well, can, like, or whatever on Wednesday. Final entrance into Horror Nights for the year. I'm more than satisfied with everything I've done this year so far, and really, this is just all icing on the cake. Can I see? Nightmare fuel a few times because it's just that good. But heading back to the Springfield, hit up all those houses really quick. We should be able to do four houses before the first showing tonight at 8 p.m. This is creepy. All of them coming for us all at once. I don't like this. 
<laughs> so creepy. Ah. It is a uh, final night, my fifth night, fourth night of this trip, and I figured I'd create some content here and talk about my final thoughts. We'll have more food in this video, as it, all that has been is food recently. Um, but uh, today I started with a pro tip here. Like, if you don't have a scream early, get there by 5 p.m. because that's when the gates close for all of the stay in screamers and then you can get right up there at the front of the gate and be in right at 6 p.m when they typically open and then run right back to the museum do solid simmer and then do these two and you could probably fit in another one if you wanted to uh before things get really busy and then go see nightmare fuel that's that's working i could probably uh fit in major suites because it's only 45 minutes but i just want to see nightmare fuel two more times tonight uh that is my favorite thing <laughs> of Horror Nights this year. That is for sure. Last year, I don't think it was. This year it is by far my favorite thing. And uh, I'm gonna be seeing it six times total, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, I'm a little ADD. I like seeing things over and over again. I like that, uh, I, I like repetitive stuff. Like I, I usually, like like it's the worst thing ever if I only get one ride on a roller coaster that I really like. Uh, I'm always grateful to get that first ride, especially if it's a ride I've never been on, but you know, it's it's always like, oh, I gotta need two at least to like kind of like really take it all in, in my opinion. But anyways, let's talk about the museum, uh, the exhibit. Uh, I like it. It's a really cool uh, idea going through a museum where, you know, this stone has affected all the different exhibits, so they all have come alive. And uh, I think there's some good parts of it. I think there's some really bad parts of it, like the a monster that's kind of just hidden in the wall but not hidden in the wall like it, it would have been cooler if they had recessed the mount monster a little bit or the actor a little bit so it kind of didn't look so obvious it's it, I, it's really hard not to just completely walk by that and not be scared of it even if it jumps out at you but all the other different exhibits are really in creative and interesting i really like it and um I could see that one getting a sequel in the future and being improved. I think it, the idea is right, but it could be executed a little bit better. Slaughter Cinema 2. Uh, this is one that I've been through the most. I think I've been through it six or seven times at this point. And uh, most of the houses, by the way, have been through five times or more. The only one I haven't been through many, uh, that many times is Insidious because it's a huge line and I'm not that fan, big a fan of it. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I don't think we'll probably do it tonight, so we'll talk about it at some point. But anyway, Slaughter Cinema 2, uh, I loved it. I love the idea of it. I think it's one that the more you do it, the novelty kind of wears out a little bit more. The first time was absolutely amazing. I love it. I, I think it might be one it's up there it's one of my favorite houses i'm not sure of the rankings i'm gonna have to try to figure that out and i'll kind of present that at the end of the video so be sure to stay with me here hit that like button comment down below all that stuff it really would uh, help the channel here especially against the orlando vloggers it is such a hard uh hard area to get any traction for your videos for so anyways, uh, then, but I do love all the different little vignettes of the movies and the callback to Beast Baby at the end is really cool. The Killer Claws or Killer Kringles are really cool. The Mummy Strippers, hilarious. Uh, the Mardi Gras Killers, it's kind of like lame, but funny at the same time to get, you know, like vomited on you. And uh, yeah, uh, there's some hit or miss ones. Like the Undead Clowns, I don't get. It feels like it was supposed to be something else and then they changed it at the last minute. Uh, just the setting that you go through doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I guess that's their home world uh, or where they've gone. I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, Monsters Unchained or whatever it's called. Um, you know, it's okay. It's I, 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 Everything with Bride is always so good. And the one scene where the, the hand comes through um, Frankenstein and the Bride is crying is just absolutely fantastic. And the set design in that is really good too. Goblin's Feast is the one that took me a few runs to really really appreciate it. it actually just took till my like fourth run 
uh, to actually just absolutely adore that one. It's the set design on it is really well done. You really got to look up and around for that one. And um, uh, you know, I say once to say again, you can have a, a life changing experience, or you can have such a poor run if you don't get a lot of scares. That last one of Goblin's Feast, I got all these goblins are just running out uh in front of me and just every corner it was amazing and it's just funny the whole um premise of it and everything it's 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 scary but funny at the same time i think um major sweets i, I think i can say that i really enjoy that one um the whole candy factory hell scape or something like that it just i love it i love the whole gobstopper in the person's mouth that's like basically like completely completely mutilated that person that's kind of freaky and uh the hammers that are uh coming down on you right above you when you're on the elevated walkway so the whole walkway is kind of uh, shaking as you walk through it's really cool i like that um yeah it, it's cool design um i could see that one coming back at some point in you know the next 10 years as well uh i think it's been pretty well received um and then we'll talk about the uh front mazes uh, later tonight. So uh, I'm going to go do the Green Guts because I got time and I don't think Nightmare Fuel, the first showing, is going to be too busy. All right. Well, I had my first aborted show of, of Nightmare Fuel. I don't think it was anything to do with the performers. I think it was a medical emergency in the stands because like a bunch of the attendants started swarming one area of the stands opposite of where I was. Uh, fortunately, it was like 16 minutes into the show, so towards the end, but still, man, that makes me want to do it two more times to see the full thing, but uh, probably one more time. Still loving it, and still, like, such a good show. I'm going to sing a ride on Green Dots because uh, I'm not doing any of the houses probably till near midnight. It just doesn't make much sense, and we need to ride Rocket a few times. I've not been on Rocket yet, and I love Rocket. I'm not a hater. I'm a hater of how much it might be costing the park to maintain when you can build some really cool stuff. dogs are finally happening and we will talk about all the houses up here all right finally did this we've been talking about this for the last four days got the uh slimer corn dog and then the frozen death corn dog this one's like mint inside of there it's not a dog you realize that i know okay, there's no hot cheesecake. dog here. what yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mint cheesecake. i was I'm about so to excited. get there and look it's got sparkles in it do you see the sparkles Holy moly. wow Guacamole. it looks like glitter so cool. I and mean, I normally don't like corn dogs, but I'm excited for this one. Yeah, there's no hot dog in there. It's just on a stick. No, no, this one. I mean. Yeah, that one does have a corn dog in there. Yeah. So that one looks good. All right. Um, I gotta say, late at night, like at 12 p.m., checking out all these. You got Miss Sweets, you got the rocker guy, you got the monster, and then you got a goblin. That was so cool. Like, no fighting for the characters. Yeah. Just like, yeah, and Miss Sweets was so nice, wasn't she? She was so sweet. She doesn't want to she mutilate sweet. us with candy at all, does she? Oh. No, not It's like Willy really Wonka gone wrong. Oh, yes it is. Even more. Oh, so. boy, it is. And then uh, then we got to see the monster from I can't Rosos. see anything, by the way, with that light in my eyes. I'm eye. sure you can. But, uh, oh, and you're in form right now. I'm what? You're in form. You're in the right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You're so excited, even though you're uh, pretending to be an AP. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, it is closing time, and we can talk about the last five houses. Uh, triplets of Terror. I think it's a cool theme. Have a uh, anniversary death murder date thing, uh, but I think it falls short a little bit. Insidious is, I know people are probably gonna hot take, my least favorite house, it just, do anything for me. Yeah, I like how long it was, but yeah, maybe if I'd seen the movies, it would uh, hit differently, but I think I've said that about a lot of IP houses. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Ghostbusters, I like the original house that they had quite a few years ago a lot more, but 
It was uh, really faithful to the movie and uh, I think they did a good job with it. And I did like the movie, so um, that's fine. Um, it has some really cool moments. It's funny. I love how, when you see the Ecto-1 coming out and just the Slimer animatronic. It was definitely changed from two weeks ago. It is not as good. So that's uh, kind of a bummer. That's why it's kind of cool to come early because they do make changes uh, for whatever reason, whether it's operational or something just doesn't work consistently. So it's always kind of cool to see. Uh, that, was, that was like one of the only changes I really noticed from two weeks ago though. So everything's been pretty consistent from what I can tell. Um, yeah, it's cool. I love the demon dog puppet they have in the Ghostbusters. That's really good too. Uh, the silent place. <sighs> A silent place? A silent place? A quiet place. A quiet place. I am tired. Five days of this is wearing me out. And you like yours. Yeah. And a quiet place. Um, Not as good as I wanted. Right. Yeah. It was faithful enough to the movie. It was too much like the movie. I don't know. I just don't like how they approach the monsters. Them being giant kind of still things. Just, I don't know. It just didn't do it for me. But Like, I kind of wish one of the rooms, like, when you enter, was completely quiet somehow. They were. It's at the beginning they yeah, do that. But you couldn't do, you couldn't do yeah. that the entire time. That wouldn't work. Plus, guest flow would not work on that. Uh, but, yeah, I just, I like the human actors, but, like, the... Uh, Demons or the monster, not so great. All the same. And yeah. she had eyes, and I'm like, I thought they weren't supposed to see. No, they don't have eyes. One of them had eye-looking things. Uh, oh no, it did not. Um, and the design of each monster varied a lot. That it was kind of like you would think it was different monsters at some points. Yeah. Uh, just like different finishes and stuff like that. It was kind of weird. So I don't know how I rank it. I said I was going to rank all the houses, but I didn't do that maybe i will sit down and add that really quickly um in a moment after we talk about the final house monstrosos latin american monsters this is one i cared a little for at the beginning but uh really started to like how you uh go through the different monsters and it evolves and gets scarier and scarier in my opinion but it starts with the creepiness with the baby eating monster that's just yeah. fucked up messed up <laughs> uh and you know the latin american set design you've seen that another thing like it kind of still has the same kind of feel like a chupacabra not as good as chupacabra that was awesome the design there especially how you could see paths that you'd already gone through you could see other people going through the past in the distance since the village was built so large that was really cool for that one but it doesn't have that there um so it was good uh, the year overall, it's down there and since I've been. The scare zones. Since I've been. Oh, I didn't even talk about the scare zones. Uh, duality of fear. Yeah, whatever. It was, I don't even uh, know what they were. That's how bad. But, I don't know. Not bad, but. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, duality of fear, okay. Uh, Demon Queens, yeah, not so great. I loved the scare zone last year. I can't remember the name of it, but I loved it last year. Uh, the Torture Fair is definitely my favorite. I love that one. That one is really well done, actually. That's probably one of my favorite mazes ever. So, or uh, Scare Zones ever. So, um, there's one redeeming quality, in my opinion, for those. Blumhouse, I mean, it's just a bunch of characters walking around. No cohesive story, really. And it was really annoying to have to constantly walk through it and uh, not be impressed by it. And then the Undead swamp one i forget what it's called um was fine it's it's okay it's it's fine it's fine it was fine obviously the winner here is going to be nightmare fuel that was amazing just absolutely love that show saw it five and a half times that was weird um but yeah the set, from the set list to the choreography to uh all the everything that they're doing with fire which just looks absolutely insane like i can't imagine swinging that much fire around just inches or feet from your face like it just must be 
You must just feel like a freaking uh, marshmallow at the end, so crispy. I, in yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I, it's that's what amazes me more about it. Uh, they're, they're able to perform at that level with that amount of fire. Yeah, it's awesome. My favorite is like the first the fire that comes out like a sparkler and they twirl it. Yeah. That one lady. Yeah. Sure, you're the spiral one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As they're doing the cut the person in half trip. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you know, there's so much going on that show that it took towards the fifth one to realize that uh, about halfway through the show she's coming out and she's walking her the torso's walking but her body is on the other side of the table i think it also depends on where you're sitting and how you're looking at the stage oh sure i mean some or... views uh some views will block your view of some stuff going on but you could just be focusing on one thing and something else is going on just to the right of it it's just so much going on like they're dancers up on the top of the yeah. the the um circus cars of the stage that I, it's cool that they're there like they could just be backstage taking a break but instead they keep it going and having action all over the place i wouldn't really suggest looking up there because there's much better things to look at but it's a neat that it's just like everything so yeah i think like a close-up seating a mid seating and a back seating is probably really cool to get a different uh idea less less than right i don't think that makes that much difference i think the distance makes a difference yeah i think getting a seat way in the back actually is really cool which you didn't get and you probably should have done but when you show up early and you can get closer yeah. it's like you can't throw that away yeah yeah I, I try to get an aisle aisles are really fun especially since they come up into the uh, aisle for certain portions of it uh the tribute store yeah very meh this year i say what do you think merch is good this year there's yeah yeah, yeah you got macarons uh merch is good this year yeah. uh, there's a bunch of stuff that i would consider buying i just don't need it i got little boo yeah oh, I got got me little boo. which which from wednesday to friday went up five dollars that's crazy I mean, I checked my credit card. I'm like, I swear that was twenty dollars. Yeah, on. apparently those sold out immediately. Yeah, and I'm sure the little booths are probably sold out by the time you see this video. Anyways, uh, it's good. It's good. It's always good. I'm, when I complain, saying it's probably my like second least favorite year, uh, that's it's still really good. subjective. Yeah, it's still like prepare. It's yeah, it's comparing of absolute the most elite thing event ever to itself over and over again like yeah, yeah it's amazing and uh i highly suggest you do it but be aware you might get hooked so i do feel like i can cut down the amount of days we come though yeah because we get things done by like friday night and then sunday we really realized this year you i mean i stayed at the hotel early but you come early yeah. You get a few houses done at opening, relax, mid, you don't, between like 8 yeah, and I, 11, you don't do anything. And you, you could either approach it either way, you could come early, but the heat kills you too. Yeah. So it's better for I'm you to come line. once the sun yeah. comes down. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that worked for us. Yeah. And we have the type of relationship that we don't need to be together at the, the entire time. So it works out. It'd be nice if we had like a hotel room we could go back to midpoint. Yeah, but unless you're staying at like... like Hard Rock, like even Cabana, yeah, yeah, it's just, kind yeah. of a track. Like, yeah. or in the summer where we're staying, it's kind of a track. Yeah. It's not really worth it. It's gonna take you close to an hour and a half yeah. to get there and back. You know, once you relax, everything, you're gone for three hours. But like, you don't want to call yourself waiting two hours in line during the busy time when you can relax and then do like five houses. And yeah, go get dinner in City Walk or something like that. Yeah, there's plenty of things you can do. Oh, and check out Minions You're Cafe. Like wasting money by not being here in those two or three hours. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't. And uh, as I said, see Nightmare Fuel in the middle. The nine o'clock and uh, yeah. the nine thirty and eleven o'clock showings are the ones I highly I suggest miss you do. The fountain, yeah, I think that will be back next year since they just got back up and running for the summer. So that should be back next year with another edition of it. So we were lucky. Two years ago, we we saw it like the first weekend or second weekend and then that's that hurricane came through and that was it yeah it did not run for very long that year so but another hhn in the books thanks for watching I like how it's over and it's, uh, the first day of fall. yeah but my hhn um 
journey is not over at Shuri. I'm gonna go one day at Hollywood. That's gonna be terrifying. In the middle of October? Oh my God. There's no way I'm getting all the house this time. So, um, I'll obviously pick and choose from the uh, original houses and not yeah. the stuff that is uh, uh, carried over. And also, I'm literally just going for the weekend house. So that is the first place I'm going. I will open it and I will close it. So I will get at least two runs in it, so. Uh, but I'm also really excited to try the Terror Tramp. Like, I've been really intrigued by that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, this year was really good. We had no way, mm -hmm. no limes. Like, we didn't get stuck in any limes like we've done a few years. And we're like, why don't we move it? Mm -hmm. Everything was smooth. Was I, I will not be doing Insidious there. I'm not going to waste my time. Well, yeah. Yeah, uh, I will probably try to do Ghostbusters and Quiet Place. Yeah. But, yeah. But anyways, that's it. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's been out. Bye-bye. I'm so tired. Wear good shoes. Oh yeah, wear good shoes.